Okay. Today we're going to be doing our last video of the year, and this is volume by cross sections. So what I'm doing is we're taking some functions area, so some functions area there. We're enclosing it around some area, and we're going to be taking and building up out of that different types of figures. For example, this first one here looks like we are building up squares. Here we're building up semicircles. Here it looks like we're building up some sort of triangles. And here we're building up, it looks like some sort of rectangle. Okay, And I'm going to go through four different examples where I'm going to give you what we're building out of the area that's enclosed. Okay, so it's a little bit different. We're not revolving anymore. So you don't need that. You for sure don't need the pi unless it's some sort of circle. Okay, because we're not revolving. We're think of like Plato. We're building this these regions out of Plato. Okay, our first example. Uh, the solid lines between the planes perpendicular to the x-axis and x equals zero. So our function is y equals negative root x and positive root x. So our curve, that's our curve. And the cross sections are circular disks with diameter in the xy plane. So what we're going to do, we need to figure out how to get the area of just one of these figures. So the area of one of those figures in terms of x. So the area of one of these figures, it's a circle, is pi r squared. Now you need to ask yourself, what is your radius? Your radius is from there to one edge of the circle. So that's going to be your square root function. So that works out to be x times pi, or pi times x. So what am I doing? I'm taking my area from 0 to 4, and I'm summing up all of these circles that we've built out of this curve, up and out of this curve. So what goes here is your area function, pi x dx. So now I take the integral of that. Pi is just a constant. So then when I simplify that, and I didn't cheat on this one, I didn't cheat on any of these today, we have 16 pi over 2, which happens to be 8 pi. Now one that's a little bit more complicated. Out of that same region, we're building up squares. So the formula for area of a square is side squared. But our area, we need this in terms of x. So what is one of these sides of our square? Well, from our x-axis over, that was root x. From our x-axis that way, that was root x, technically negative root x. So our side is 2 root x squared, which that is going to simplify to 4x. So now I'm going to take my area from 0 to 4, because we're going from 0 to 4, all of our squares are being added up. All of the areas of those squares are added up. Our area formula is 4x dx. So when I take my integral, I get 2x squared from 0 to 4, and we get 32. Okay, the solid lines between the planes parallel, so I didn't have, where I took this example from, I didn't have the picture, so I'll draw an idea of what our picture looks like. And they're not going to be the best illustrations, and as long as you can visualize what we're building out, you're going to be okay. So I'm going from 0 to 4, and our cross sections are now squares but our diagonals are in the xy plane. So what's happening is I have my diagonal of my square is there. 
and then our piece looks so our square its diagonal is along there so what's the area of that our area is a function of x is equal to our side squared but let's look at that we don't have the side length we're looking for the side length I know my diagonal is 2 root x if you keep in mind that it's a square so it's a 45 45 90 triangle so therefore one of these sides is going to be 2 root x over root 2 okay so now we're going to take the area I'm going to square it and we are going to get simplifies to 4x over 2 so we get 2x let me go back to where I got this from remember your 45 45 90 triangles if you know the hypotenuse you divide by root 2 to get one of the sides that's how I got this side okay and I didn't worry about simplifying because I knew when I was going to square my side that would take care of all my radicals so I'm summing up all of my areas from 0 to 4 of all of our squares where their formula is 2x dx. So from there, we get x squared from 0 to 4. And I plug in and I get my volume is 16. Okay, our last one. And you know what that means. If it's our last one, it's the last one of the year. You know what that means. AP review time, which is my favorite time of the year. But students get semi-stressed out because there are some hard problems. Okay, right now stop getting distracted. All right, so again, we have that same region that we've been talking about. I just chose to use the same region because we've been talking about it already. So it is the region where our parabola but now we have an equilateral triangle. So I'm building up an equilateral triangle. Okay. So there's a couple different ways you could look at the area. So our area, our triangle, What's one side length? One of our side lengths is 2 root x. Now we know, now I know you guys all know this. So you guys remember, you guys are awesome geometry students, you remember that the area of an equilateral triangle is s squared root 3 over 4. So when I plug in that 2x, 2 root x, I apologize, 2 root x, squared times root 3 over 4, you will guys all know that that simplifies just to x root 3. Okay, guys, who's kidding who? You guys are seniors. It's okay that you don't remember that this is the formula. If you guys had me for honors, you were like, oh, yeah, I remember her talking about that. But it's okay if you don't remember that. Let's just get our formula real quick. Because remember that this is a 30, 60, 90 triangle when I drop my altitude down. Remember area of a triangle is one half our base is 2 root x now I just need to figure out that height I have a 30 60 90 triangle I have 2 root x okay there's my 60 degree angle I know my small side the other side is 2 times root 3 times your side so that turns into 2 root 3 x I apologize, the two shouldn't be there. I'm cutting in half. I'm too excited because it's the last example. I'm making too many mistakes. So the two shouldn't be there. It's just root x. The height, the side opposite the 60 degree angle, is root 3 times that side length. So our height is root 3x. When you simplify that, the 1 half and the 2 cancel. Root x times root x is x. So I have x root 3. So now, taking my air, finding my area from 0 to 4, 
the area of each one of our triangles we decided was x root 3 dx. I could pull the root 3 out front, take the integral of x, that's 1 half x squared, from 0 to 4. So we get our answer of 8 root 3. So that's what our volume would be when I have a bunch of equilateral triangles all in here, making up our area. Okay? Okay, that is all for today's lesson. Please make sure your lesson summary is submitted on time. <clears throat> and realize that's the last one. I wish I could have like a little dancing man over here in the corner being very, very happy, okay? That's our last video. Uh, please make sure it's submitted on time.